Hi again YouTubers. I am here with a really quick haul. Um, I put in an order on Mac Pro uh, primarily because I wanted to get this first product and it's only available online, um, not just at the Pro Store, meaning it can be available anywhere. I have a piece of hair stuck. My hair has a mind of its own today. It's not agreeing with me. But anyway, um, I wanted to, I have the Mac Lightful Deep Ultra Moisturizing, um, no, Deep ultra moisture cream there we go and I really wanted to try the lightful foaming what is this foaming cream cleanser um, because as you guys know I got my Clarisonic and I've been using it and I don't particularly like the cleansers that come with that I gave all three of them a try so I had wanted to try this anyway so I figured what better time than to use it with my Clarisonic um, so I put an order in online, and since I was ordering, I had a couple other things I wanted to get, so I picked them up at the same time. Um, but this cleanser uh, has a great smell. It smells exactly like uh, the moisturizer that I use, and I love the moisturizer, so I'm going to give this a shot. The next thing I picked up was a pan eyeshadow in Arena. Let me take this out. Um, I had purchased Kid Omega and... God, what was it? Soft? I don't remember. Anyway, um, God, see, now I'm going to have to look it up. Let's see here. It is the color. Oops, can't get it out. Brown script. There we go. And by the way, somebody asked me to do an eye look um, and wear it in my video with kid and uh, brown script on. And I actually have that on right now. A couple other colors I'll put in the sidebar. All the different colors I have, but I'm not sure if you can see that. Hopefully you can. Anyway, <laughs> off subject, this is Arena, and it's a really cool color. It's kind of a peachy tone with a shimmer to it. Wow, the, sorry guys, it's so, it's just rainy out today and it's dismal. So I'm using the light in here, let's see. Mm, not really showing very well. Sorry. It's a really cool color though, so I gave that a try um, and purchased that. So that will go into one of my palettes. And then, sorry, my bracelet's making a ton of noise. And then I picked up another cream color base. You guys know how I love these. Uh, this is actually just the color brown. Um, I had seen this in a couple of different people's videos. Um, I know Pixie Woo used it at one point, and who was the other person that used it? It might have been Candy. Um, so it is truly, it's like a brick brown. Uh, it is not a true olive brown or things like that. It's more of a brick tone and it's really kind of, it's brown. Like you can see this, it is dark. Like this takes such a light hand. Um, but I used it yesterday uh, when I got it in. I just, I didn't have any eyeshadow on. So I decided to, I actually did two things with it. I used a Use my 109 and I tapped it on as a contour. I don't have it on now. Um, and it worked pretty good, but you have to use a super light hand. And then I used my 217 and I put it on over a paint pot. I put on Painterly and this, and it actually looked like eyeshadow. It was gorgeous. Um, I really liked it. However, I will say I would have to put an eyeshadow over this, just one that's similar in color because it didn't stay very well uh, by the time I went to wash my face at night. And I'd put it on at like I don't know, three, four o'clock. By the time I went to wash my face at night, uh, it was still there, but it wasn't as true as it was in the beginning. So good note on that. And then I picked up two brushes. Um, I picked up the 191, which is the foundation brush, and it is the flat one, as you can see here. Um, they re-promoted it with the Studio Sculpt because the purpose they said for this was when you use the Studio Sculpt, you're supposed to press it on. And this brush is more pliable than, say, the 190. Like this one isn't going to press the same way. So I decided to give this a try. I did pick it up. And then I also picked up the 189 brush. This is huge. Let me show you next to the 109 just to give you an idea. This can be used for a lot of different things. This can be used on your cheek. It can be used to blend things. Um, it can be used for foundation. Just be careful because look, this is like, this isn't like that one, okay? There's a lot more movement to this one. So uh, the foundation is going to be used totally different with this one, but you could use it and swipe it on, um, give you a faster coverage. So I'm going to give this brush a try too, see what I think of it. But that is my haul. It's a really, really quick one. 
If you would like a review on any of the products you saw here, please put a comment below. Um, and or if you would like to see any uh, more information, I'm not, I'm saying a review, but I'm also, if you would like any additional information on any of these products, just put a comment and I will get back to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you guys soon. Bye.